Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to be further expanding our work with repeat transform and we're going to be creating a very cool portrait like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the layer and I'm going to show you how we did it. So the first thing we need to do to start is we need to get our, our move tool up here. We need to right click our move tool and hit reset all tools and we want to hit OK. So your tools and my tools are exactly the same. Then we want to come to window, we want to go to workspace and we want to say reset essentials to make sure that your machine and my machine are exactly the same. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click a new layer here and I'm going to call it black. Then I'm going to right click under here Get my paint bucket tool. I'm going to make sure my foreground color is black by hitting D. And then I'm going to click in here to make this layer black. I don't need to see that layer right now, so I'm just going to hide it and see to reveal my layer below. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this one circle. On that layer, I am going to grab my circle tool up here and I'm just going to draw out a long uh, egg-like shape like this. I'm going to press G for paint bucket, D to make sure it's my default black color, and then I'm going to click in here to fill in that. I'm going to command and D to take off my marching ants. Now on my circle layer, I double click in this area and I get up my layer styles. Last time we used stroke, we're going to mix things up a little bit. This time we're going to go for outer glow. On my outer glow, I want to choose my foreground color as white and hit OK to that. And then you want to just increase the uh, spread of this and the size of this to get a sort of similar uh, looking shape as the one that I've got. I'm going to hit OK to that. Now, exactly as before, I'm going to transform this. So in order to do that, I go Command and T. I hold down my Option and grab a corner and bring it all in together in the same proportions just a little bit. And then I'm going to move my center point. If you don't have your center point, you can click this here to get your center point. And I'm going to move my center point. I'm not going to bring it down very far, but I'm going to bring it quite far out to the left and down just a little bit around about there. Then I'm going to rotate around that axis just a little bit like this. That ought to do. And I'm going to apply my transform by clicking this checkbox. Then I'm going to repeat transform by holding down Command, Option, and Shift, and pressing T to repeat it multiple times. So this is going to create a different shape each time, which is kind of cool. We like that. Right, this is making your computer work very hard. So if you have an older computer, you may struggle a little bit. I'm going to click my top layer. I'm going to grab my slider and slide all the way down to include my black layer. I'm going to hold on shift, click that. I'm going to click to reveal my black layer and then command and E squashes all the layers together into one. Now, last time what we did is we went for a darkened blend mode, but remember you can also go for a lightened one too. And then I can command and T and transform my shape to an area where I think is relevant on this portrait and press enter to apply it. So that is a variation where we are now using a lightened blend mode to blend through to the portrait be below. Now I'm going to take this one step further by returning my blend mode of this shape back to normal. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Command and J to duplicate my layer. I now have two of these. And this time what I want to do is I want to blend it to lighten. So this is lighten blend mode to the layer below. And then I can Command and T and rotate it round. It looks kind of freaky, but what's happening is the lighten blend mode is only allowing us to see the white in this layer to the layer below. So I kind of like that. I'm going to press Enter. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to command and I'm going to command and J. And as we can see, it's copied it as a lighten mode. I'm going to command and T. And this time I'm going to move my rotation point to one of these center areas like this. 
and I'm going to rotate it around like that. Press enter to apply it. I'm going to do it one more time. Command and J, Command and T. Get my center point to rotate around there and I'm going to rotate around one more time. I'm going to press enter. Now I've got the shape repeating multiple times. I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to shift click the last one and I'm going to Command and E to merge them all together. And now exactly as before, we can click our normal blend mode and this time we can go for a darken and Command and T, rotate it and move it into a position that you're very happy with. I'm going to press enter to apply that. And then exactly as before, I'm going to, over the top, I'm going to click an adjustment layer. I'm going to click gradient and I'm going to choose a gradient like this. And then I'm going to blend through to find something that works. That looks very cool. I like that a lot, actually. Um, now, if we want to have see more of this shape, we just need to come down to our bottom layer, Command and T to transform. I'm going to Command and minus to zoom out a little bit. And I'm just going to make this shape a little bit bigger. So we're seeing more of it on the girl like this and pressing enter. I'm going to press Command and O to make full size. And I think this is a very cool uh, outcome for our repeat transform effect. Here ends today's video tutorial.